Oh, sloppy Joe. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy Joe. Um, Gabby. Okay, girl. It's only a matter of time before you get caught. So, you sit right there beside Steph and Bedside if you want to. Somebody gonna walk in there and catch your ass in there with him. So, you have fun with that. Chad, I hope you don't go down for a tip that murder. Because that really would suck. I still enjoy that ass whooping you gave Stephen. I just hope you don't go down for first degree murder or attempted murder. He woke up, so you ain't going to get no um, murder charge. It's just the attempted murder, what I'm scared of, because he ain't out the woods yet. Oh, my gosh. Maybe that ass whooping did make him a little smarter. You got to go, oh God, what did I do? No, you can't be here. No, you got to go. You need to leave now. Maybe that beating did. Ooh. Chad, did you get him a brain fart knocking the shit out of him? Because I ain't never heard no sound this goddamn scared and telling you to leave, go. Don't look back. What are you doing here? I think Chad didn't beat some sense into him. I'm glad at least somebody did. It was about damn time. That was way overdue. That was an overdue book I was really waiting for to return back to him. And I'm glad it finally reached him. Now, McGill, calm your ass down. She dated Brady and she dated Lucas. You got one of her ex-husbands. Unfortunately, you got the wrong one. So, McGill, calm your ass down and stop patting your back. You got the wrong husband. We're the wrong ex-husband. So, I don't know what job you think you completed or job you think you had to do. Wrong one. Wrong one. Oh, God. Steve, not you. Now, you relate to Abigail. Oh, my fu- If they don't find another damn word, and I mean, I mean, quick in the hurry with this damn brainwash. Ain't nobody brainwash, you idiots. Why do y'all go to the- Lord Chad and said it so much now, sticking in everybody damn mind that this girl running around here brainwashed. Even the damn family saying she brainwashed. And they ought to know fucking better. Lord, will somebody please tell this? Somebody pass the word around that the girl that lost her mind. Ain't no fucking brainwash going on here. Y'all ought to know this by fucking now that the girl lose her mind. Now where y'all getting this brainwash shit at? I... Ooh, I can punch Chad in the face with this brainwash. Ooh. He then started something now everybody going along with second the same brainwash song. Okay, Chad, you then started some shit now. Yeah, I think that whooping Chad put on his ass. He then learned his lesson and realized, oh shit, I did take the shit too far. They ain't gonna be able to prove right. They can prove that Abigail lost her damn mind. So what kind of case is he really gonna have? I mean, she can say right, but he she got to prove it. And I don't see Stephen getting in any types of trouble, even though um Hope said he was gonna be arrested for something. So he'll the mirror, he'll get out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They always manage to get out of every goddamn thing they get into. So I ain't holding my breath on that about him getting arrested. Um, Miss Big and you didn't got well. You ain't technically caught cause Steve can't see you. So all he can do is call your name and hope you answer. So, <sighs> Gabby, if I was you, I leave now. That's my cue to leave. You better listen to Stephanie and get the fuck out of town if you plan on leaving town. Cause Salem is not your friend anymore. And as soon as they find you, they're going to they gonna tackle your ass, Gabby. So I advise you to get out of town. McGill. Let's add you to the world most dumbest Salem criminal tomb. You, you added into the gallery tomb. Lieutenant Reigns, now you. I can think of other dumb criminals, but I'm not going to say their name because they don't deserve what's being speak of. So, McGill, you in the world dumbest criminal too. How the fuck you going to hold somebody hostage Then you going to sit your happy ass down while she open the door? 
So now you feel the whole Eve hostage to her, McGill. Okay. Well, at least I can say you ain't going to no Mexican prison. You gonna be in the American prison, and they just as bad, not worse than Mexico prison. So you have fun with that one. I know that's right, Brady. Even under the influence, your ass talking come, Brady. Good job, Brady. Take your ass to the hospital. Let them let Eve know and everybody else know that head doubts that your ass ain't touch shit. Your ass was drugged or roofied or what's another fancy word that like drug roofied? I forgot the other one they like to call. Let them know that you ain't do shit. You was straight and narrow. You had your little club sold as happy. Somebody roofed that ass. Let them know, Brady. Let them know. At least you is talking with common sense today. I'm actually proud of you today. Incredible Hulk. Uh-oh. Mm-hmm. Gabby, you didn't play as your damn heart there, sweetheart. He didn't grab that ass and say, who is you? Mm-hmm. Now watch Step and help your ass escape. So I ain't feeding it to that that your ass trapped in cold calls. Steve Blind, all y'all do is just step on his toe real quick and run like hell. He can't catch his soul. Yeah, I ain't holding on too much faith with that when then Steve running. Also, Chloe let people know that, look, Eve, I'm in trouble. I'm telling you I'm taking a job. Mr. Garcia is ready to take me to Mexico. I hope Lucas understand. That's right, Chloe. Let them know that you're taking a job. Maybe somebody will catch on that your ass got to be in some type of trouble and that Maybe they can come save you. Lucas, I want you to sit down somewhere. I don't want you to be in no superhero. Um, well, if he take E with her, he come talk. So, Lucas, if push come to shove, I think I want you to sit your motherfucking ass down somewhere. I don't even want you to attempt to try to save Chloe. That's the last thing we need to see. Or see you do, cause your mama will run with them. Oh, she was just in trouble watching something such a long ago, and you had to save her from trouble. Your mama hold it over Chloe here forever. Lucas, sit your ass down if you happen to find out that Chloe in trouble. Have several seats somewhere, Lucas. Yes, Chloe, yes. Please let um Eve know that you in some type of trouble, that you don't want to leave. One minute you said you're not leaving. Now all of a sudden you didn't change your mind because of Mr. Garcia there. Really? Eve Danger, save her. Well, look at you. Look who I'm talking about. Save somebody, Lord Eve. No. Never mind, Eve. Don't save her. Just go get her some help. Oh, sloppy Joe. Sloppy, sloppy. Did you really try to disguise... This girl tried to disguise her voice, trying to fool her Uncle Steve into thinking that wasn't her talking about some damn right. Yeah, he round you, round your ass, and they letting you go. So go do that round right there. Girl, I told you not to take your silly ass in that damn room. Watching stuff and singing the sets better. You just had to take a risk, didn't you, huh? Um, am Gabby. Mm hmm. Now, you, mm, I ain't gonna go do your rounds right there. Go ahead and do your rounds. I dare you, Abby. I mean, Gabby. Go, go ahead and do your rounds. Are you serious? Y'all ain't heard from Marlene in God knows how long. I think we only saw her what? Monday, Tuesday of this week. I think, if I'm not mistaken, y'all hoes just not. Y'all hoes just really now asking um Eric, have you heard from your mother today? Really? Just now? In this moment? Cause she the one that was on Abigail Cave? And now y'all just not asking about. Okay. John, where the hell you at? And some damn, under some damn rock. Oh my gosh, Jesus. Poor Marlena. I, well, you ain't getting fed because stepping ass in the hospital. Gabby Ryan here sneaking around going in the hospital room. So, y'all ain't. Lord. Poor Marlena. Poor Vivian. Poor Kay. I'm pretty sure y'all hungry because I'm pretty sure ain't nobody feeding y'all. Seriously, Steve. Steve, don't you fall for her lies. I go see Kayla only if you let me go. 
Steve, please don't fall for that. Please don't fall for that scam. Please be better than that and tell her ass hold well, you know she on the run anyway. So hopefully you won't fall for this scam and agree to this scam that she's trying to give you. Oh my god, Gabby finna injure the blind person now. I'm pretty sure she finna do something to Steve and up uh, knocking him across the head or something just for her to get away. I, I see it happening. She finna fuck Steve up now for sure now. Now, Chloe, you done been kidnapped, held hostage, put in a dangerous situation long enough to know that. You don't insult the kidnapper, um, where the kidnappy. You don't insult them talking about their ego and all this and making all this fuss. And Chloe, you gonna end up getting shot in the ass. If you don't hush and just go on with this man and stop trying to cause more trouble for yourself, Talk about it, his ego there, bro. <laughs> yeah, I can't now. That was funny. But Chloe, knock it off for you end up getting shot or something. And another thing, now, now that they're replaying this fight, Chad, I thought he I, I think he saw your ass up perfect. I mean perfect. Basically got your girl where well, he came into town as an asshole. Unfortunately, Gabby lost her damn mind, caused the murder. Came up with two different types of people, fell in love with one. Basically had sex with the one that you didn't know existed. As y'all say, brainwashed her, got her in bed with him. Now your ass in jail could be going to prison because you was taught that this man almost killing this man. I think he sought your ass up good, Chad. At the end, he the one laughing to the bank. You the one in, in jail, so might be heading to prison. So, Chad, he sought your ass up good. I hate to say it, but Chad, he played you like a hen of chess. I mean, he literally played the dog fuck out of you. And unfortunately, I gave into it and so did you. Because I was cheering as you was punching his face. And you couldn't stop punching him nor kicking him. So you played into his hand also. Now, helpful, you managed to get away from Steve. You go and sit there and press the damn button, wait for the elevator. Girl, if you don't, have you ever heard of, I, I can't. The elevator, really? Do you know how long them things take? And the, most of the time, they don't work. Half of the time, they do work. By the time you get to the first floor here, they're going to be waiting on you, Tony, as soon as you open. Girl, the elevator, really, Gabby? The elevator, really? Most people would have jumped that went down the stairs and would have been halfway where they was going at by now. You chose the goddamn ele Okay. You have fun with that when I'm glad Hope caught your ass. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day and have a good weekend. Bye.